Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Hi everyone, welcome to Crescent, PA. We're at the Crescent Borough and we're at this cool little observation deck and they have like a little gazebo there. There's a caboose back there and it's a great little place to rail fan. And I haven't been to this location before and we were just taking another day trip. It's Labor Day and we're just taking a nice little day trip. While Kayla's in the car charging her phone for a minute, she'll be joining me out here in just a moment. I uh, figure I come out here and wait to see if and when a train will come by. We know one will. This is the main line, so one will. And the signal just turned green up there. It was red. I think it's that one right there. It just turned green. It was just red a moment ago. So we know a train is on its way that way towards Glitzen and Altoona. Where I'm at, that way heads towards Pittsburgh. So anything coming this direction is heading towards Glitzen and Altoona. So cool little awesome place. I, I'm really digging this. And there's actually a Norfolk Southern thing right over here. I can't read what the sign says. It's too far away. That little sign right there. <laughs> um, but it's pretty cool to check this out. So figure why not? It's a beautiful day. Come out here and do some rail fanning. And actually where I'm standing, that's the little park I was just telling you about. Besides the main line coming through here, there are actually lines that go up that way and on the other side of the building, like a triangle right here. How cool would that be to watch a train going through there and in here? Actually, I wonder if that's where the Connemaw line meets up here. I could be incorrect. I could be wrong on that. But what if that's the Connemaw line where it merges back together? I don't know, though. But this is cool. We're expecting one to come from this direction, and that tree just blocks our view a little bit. But... That is okay. It'll be heading eastbound, and I'm sure in due time we'll be getting one from the east going westbound, and we'll be able to enjoy that. Okay, so it's weird. The signal down there that was green turned red. Nothing came through. However, with power of the virtual rail fan video that they have live streaming from Horseshoe Curve, I do know that a tanker train is on its way this direction, it just went through Horseshoe Curve about 10 minutes ago, so probably about 10 to, I don't know, 15 minutes from now it'll be here. So at least we'll get one train before it's dark, and uh, we'll definitely come back here. I definitely want to see some more action through this stretch here. So we'll wait for the oil train to come through, and then probably call it a night, unless we get lucky and get one coming from that direction before it's totally dark. And literally just like that, another signal just turned green. So maybe we will get lucky with one coming from this side this time. Since uh, the one signal was green, but it went back to red. Here, I'll show you. Yeah, the signal that was up on top on the far right side, that one was green. The top right one. And then it went back to red. And now you see the green one on the right side of the tracks. That one turned green, so who knows. But... We are expecting a tanker train coming from that direction, and I guess we'll be expecting something from my side coming through, I hope. Okay, oil train is here. So they're working their way here to Crescent. Just in time, it was starting to get dark. As you can see on the switch there, the train heading eastbound isn't here yet. The light's still green, but this westbound oil train is here, and at least we'll get one. Even this observation deck rumbles. Hey, 
And it looks like the one that's heading this way is on its way because those trains were lighting up. Unless that was from the street lights. quiet when there's when the tracks are straight Comes the end of the train. Just keep it facing this way. Well, at least we got one. Be sweet if we got the other one. Boy, we got it just in time. I have the light filter on the camera up as high as it goes, so I know this is gonna be a little grainy, but we're getting this just in time. This train is coming through, and we'll be able to call it a day. Whew. At least we'll get it. Hopefully you can enjoy. Here we go, guys. There he is. Wow, that's bright. Just a couple locomotives. <laughs> now watch, a signal should flip to red. Those are pushers. Yep, just flipped the red. That's okay. We still got it. All right, so we, even though that was just locomotives, at least we got two out of here. I keep looking down there because I see the lights reflecting off the tracks, but pretty sure that's a train going that way. And now one of the signals just flipped to green up above the track again, and it was the one that was green earlier. But I'm afraid it's just going to be too little too late. It's too dark now, so that's okay. Hope you enjoyed that anyway. Uh, it's fun coming out here, and I definitely got a new spot. I'm going to really love coming here, watching them go by, so... Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that look here at Crescent. Pretty good rail fan activity, and actually, or spot anyway, and I found out that it's, there's actually a bunch of places along Route 53 here 
along these tracks that you can stop and rail fan. So that's good to know between here and Galitzin. So we'll definitely check out the other places when we have more time, when we have daytime to do that and uh, try and get some more rail fan activity in. So anyway, I'm taking off. It's going to be too dark to film this one. I mean, only God knows when it'll be here. Fortunately, when they're coming from that direction, you can hear the train horn at the last crossing or rail, uh, railroad crossing before it gets here. So don't know how long it could be, though. So anyway, there will be another day for that. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Stay awesome. And on Kayla's behalf, have a Norfolk Southern delicious day. Talk to you later. Bye, everyone.